One of the things that we love about Fusion 360 is the post processors. What do I mean by that? Fusion 360 includes dozens of stock post processors, meaning when you cam up your parts in Fusion 360, I can post to a Fanuc machine, I could post to a Haas, I could post to a Heidenhain, I could post to a Tormach, that's awesome. This list will auto update when Fusion updates, that's usually every month or two. So if there's been a post update, you'll get it through that. However, we tend to not rely on this list, but rather we use cloud posts. So we'll show you at the end of this video how you copy your posts in to get them into the cloud. That means that they're available to me regardless of which computer I'm using when I sign into my Fusion account. That's huge. The problem is that your cloud posts become static. In other words, I've got a Haas post, I've got a Tormach post. These aren't going to automatically update when Fusion pushes out a new update. So you need to go to cam.autodesk.com slash posts. We'll have a link below to this. And you can see, for example, the Tormach and the Fanuc and the Haas were all updated within the last 35 days. So you can download that new post, save it to your desktop. And once you've got that file on your desktop, I can go back into Fusion 360. And to use cloud libraries, go to your name, preferences, cam and choose enable cloud libraries then to upload that post go to show data panel scroll all the way down to libraries assets open up cam posts click upload and then i'm going to upload by dragging that tormach over to here and i'm going to click cancel because i don't need to do this right now but you would click upload and that's going to create your list so the downside to this, every two months, put a reminder in your calendar to head over to cam.autodesk and just check if there's a new post. Sometimes the post improvements are just new features and benefits. Sometimes they're actually fixing glitches. So it is a good idea at least every quarter or so to make sure you are using the latest post. And finally, the other cool thing about Fusion 360 and post processors is when you choose your post processor, you have a programs settings section and if you scroll through this, there are some pretty cool functionalities. For instance, if you've got the Smart Cool from Tormach, you can enable that so that it sweeps or paints your part with adjustable coolant lines. Or if we hop over to our Haas post, we use, for example, G187. That enables our Haas machine to act differently when it's roughing to make the machine move more quickly and smoothly versus having it move in a more precise manner when we're doing finishing profiles. Similarly, another really cool Haas feature, optionally cycle tools at start. If you post this, take a look. This allows us or the operator at the machine to do a quick QC against a setup sheet to make sure we didn't accidentally put in the wrong tool in a tool position. So before this program starts, it's gonna pull up tool 12 and tool 13 because those were the only two tools being used in the setup that we posted. And it's going to give the operator a chance to check, hey, is that a half inch diameter flat end mill? And is tool 13 and 3 eighths flat end mill? And because this measure tools used, all of these lines start with a forward slash. If you hit the block delete command on your Haas controller, it will then skip through those. So you can post this, but not even using it by toggling that block delete. That's awesome. 